we have political institutions that do not believe in the idea of press freedom. Freedom of the press is purely theoretical in Nigeria. A journalist is a moving target. Journalists in Nigeria work under very difficult conditions. For societies like us, the press is the only hope for the possibility of an opposition. 1996, they put us on charges of treason. My colleague said, listen, you, you, you really have to leave the country at this time. CPJ and the Amnesty International collaborated and got me out of Nigeria. It's not part of the plan, but it's like, today you have to move. That's how a 13 years exile began. <laughs> so, my years of exile was working to free many of my colleagues who were in jail, providing media support for the kinds of work that they do. So I said, OK, let's try to do something. We'll publish online. And that's how Premium Camps was founded. Dakbo Onoriomi has fought not just for democracy, but for press freedom, especially in Nigeria. The advent of Premium Times changed online journalism in this country. We are the only Nigerian newspaper invited to be part of the Panama Papers. 2017, we had written a story about the head of the Nigerian army. I was arrested alongside Dr. Lomriomi when I did a report which the chief of army staff at the time did not find so comfortable. The Committee to Protect Journalists quickly jumped in. In fact, it was one of the biggest cases of advocacy I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Ordinarily, I know we'll probably have rocks in jail, <laughs> but I mean, they were forced to release us, you know, the very next day. You can't stop media from doing its work. That work is clearly established in Section 22 of the Nigerian Constitution to hold people in power accountable at all times. That's what the law says. My own relationship with the community to protect journalists is a very long one. Just hearing that people are making calls, I'm putting pressure for your release. That keeps you going. They help me. How are you doing? <laughs> One's hope is that we'll be able to design new ways to fund accountability journalism in the country. This is the central challenge for press freedom, I think, in Nigeria.